In 1888, these streets in London's East End were the hunting ground of one of Britain's most notorious criminals, the fearsome Leather Apron, more commonly known as Jack the Ripper. His crimes were cold and calculated. He cut the throats of five women, all of whom had fallen into disrepute. The first two and the last two had their bodies horribly mutilated, but on the third occasion, he was almost caught in the act. He escaped, and within the hour, he killed his fourth victim. The Victorians were already terrified about crime, and these murders really touched a raw nerve. The Queen wrote to the Home Secretary, expressing her severe concern, and the people were desperate to find out about the murders. The newspapers were only too happy to print all the salacious details because their circulation was going up. In fact, some people said that journalists planted false evidence just to keep the story on the boil. The police came in for a lot of criticism for their handling of the case. They put out extra patrols and stakeouts in the streets, and they tried entirely new techniques. They got bloodhounds in. It was the first time they'd ever been used to try and track down the criminal. And while the bloodhounds were in London, there was no murder, and the police decided they were too expensive to feed and send them home. Come on, come on, dogs. And then the ripper started again. There were plenty of suspects, but the Ripper was never caught. In a murder investigation today, the police would unleash a whole battery of techniques that were simply unavailable to the Victorians. Nevertheless, the Victorians were the fathers of forensic science.